Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So as you can see, there is a skill advancement and level up on, and as you could see, I've already done a skill level up. Now, by the time you see this video, you'll already know who I took up, because it will be in a mystery rank up theater, and it'll be another skill champion. All right, now, this guy here, we just recently pulled from the crystal. Perfect timing. So all we're doing is taking him, you know, up to uh, level 25. But there was another skill, rank up, level up, that you should already know who that was. It was a six star. And I took them to rank two. All right. Uh, but in any case, I love this guy. Uh, crossbones, I had been hunting crossbones as a five star for years, literally. And I never pulled him until they had those dual class crystals, mutant and skill. And in that first batch that I opened up, out he came as a five star. So getting him as a six star, I'm happy. I like him. I think his special three is one of the more brutal ones that I've seen. I mean, when I look at it, I just have to go ouch at the end of it. You know, looked like he was trying to kill his opponent. He wasn't trying to just knock him out. Hitting him on the back of the head like that? Mm -mm. You don't play like that unless you ain't playing. All right. So right now, uh, I'm short of some uh, ISO. As I said, I've been ranking up skill champions left and right. So you should have by now at least four rank up theaters that were skill champions. Four of them by now. So yeah, that was a lot of ISO gone. So I'm just opening these guys up for ISO. That's why I kind of stockpile these because if I open them, I'm going to keep getting dupes and I'm going to get ISO, which if I don't need it, I'm just going to end up selling. So I just save them. And we got ourselves a four star Nexus, which is beautiful because a little bit later, we're going to open up our Nexus crystals. And if we pull skill champions in one of the uh, selections, we're going to select skill so we can get that ISO. That's pretty much what these uh, four stars and even the five stars mean to me at this point. Uh, there's not that many five stars I don't have that are in the crystals. So um, we got a couple of uh, four star Nexus. Love seeing that, especially when I need ISO. And uh, we're just gonna pop these guys open not spinning any of these out. Uh, someone recommended or, or suggested a crystal war using these. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think that's something uh, that you might watch that you think would be interesting. Uh, the one that I was thinking of doing that with, uh, I believe, is the one that suggested it, which was... Um, uh, Rizzo the legend because he has his regular account still but he's been playing with his um alt account his new account uh, I think it's kind of a self-discipline thing so that he's not tempted to spend a lot and so he's progressing free to play on this one so he's not uh at the point where we could battle with five stars for example uh, we might be able to battle with four stars, but uh, it might take him a while to get his four stars. So I'm thinking uh, that sounds like a, a interesting thing that we could do. But let me know what you guys think. You know, do you, would you like to see uh, a battle? Uh, all right. So we're opening up these uh, Nexus and you can see we got skill. We're just choosing skill. Doesn't really matter. They're all dupes for me. Um so all I want is skill. Yep, skill. Because not only, 
and then we get all cosmic. So I'm like, oh, come on. But uh, not only are we going to be taking up crossbones, but we have other skill uh, that we want to uh, level up. Maybe not a big skill rank up level up, but we do have more that we want to do. So whenever I see that skill, boom, I'm getting that skill. All right, look at that. So this was great. You know, we were able to get quite a few uh, skill uh, champions duped. And, and look at that. Look how much skill we have now. So we're good. We're good for a little bit now. So uh, um, I think I went back to uh, crossbones here. Yeah, went back to crossbones. And uh, I was worried. I was like, wait a minute. I can't put this video out early earlier than my uh, mystery rank up theater because they might see the one that I ranked up. That's why you're seeing this one now after all of the mystery rank up theaters uh, for this, these last few level ups is over. So I'll always try to make this one the last one if I have a mystery rank up theater. And what happened here, of course, I had space in my inventory because, you know, we had run out of uh, ISO for the skill. And all of that that I was doing, of course, we got other ISO, other class ISO, and they filled that in so that all the skill that I got from, you know, choosing in the uh, Nexus went all into my uh, overflow. So I had to make a way, clear that out, and now I can go back and uh, claim these. All right. So there we go. He is now level 25. Okay. Now you see that um, one to two rank up gem. It's already been used. By the time you see this, that rank up gem has already been used in a mystery rank up theater. Um, so at this point, I still want to take up some uh, skills. So I'm looking over my champions here and I'm thinking, okay, who do I want to take up? You know, do I want to take up a five star that would use up my T2 alphas without using my T5 basics? Here's um, a champion here. Now, it would use up my catalyst. But yeah, let's do that. We won't have to worry about our T5 basics being used just yet. And it'll position her to go up to rank five. So maybe in the future... Um, another mystery rank up theater where there's a skill advancement and a level up on at the same time, we might decide to take her up. Or maybe an event comes along that she is just absolutely the best option for. Then I might, during the next level up, you know, as long as I can still hit that event, take her up. But at least now she's in that position. But with all the rank ups I've been doing and all the content that uh, Kabam has just recently thrown at us, I'm trying to save my uh, T5 basics for a little bit. So that's the only reason I stopped at taking her to rank four right now, because I don't have her as a rank five. I mean, as a six star. All right. So look at that. Look at the skill advancement at this point and the level up at this point. You know, I always check and I'm like, OK, I think I can do a little bit more than that. So I don't want to use up too many more of my big resources, even though I have quite a few still in the inventory. Uh, I chose him as a four star because he's getting a rework. It's the only reason. Otherwise, I would never touch it. Now, right now, he's going to rank four. Currently, I don't really use rank fours in the arena. I have quite a few rank fives. And so the only time you'll see me taking a champ to rank five is when I want to use them in the arena. So it needs to be a champion that I don't mind using in the arena. Uh, I think I can get um, over 1 million just with my maxed out four stars. And I use them in summoner trials. So that means I can run summoner trials four times and I'm good. Okay. Over the course of three days. So that's what I was doing there. And you can see here, I took up another, and I like Hawkeye. Hawkeye has actually gotten a buff. Um, I don't remember how many buffs, but he got a buff 
uh, since his uh, release that, uh, if I remember correctly, it increased his bleed damage and it gave him that hemorrhage. But he could use a rework. He really could. Um, his power drain is great. Love his power drain. Uh, so he has that utility. But that hemorrhage, if I remember right, you can only... It, it, there's a chance. All right? There's the um, final skill advancement uh, for this one. And I'm about to show you where we placed with that. All right? So there you go. Um, I know some people were interested in seeing where I placed, not just that I got the 1% to 10%. We know that with that kind of score. But they were interested in the rank. And this is the only way that you can see the rank. And oftentimes, I just claim it from the in-game mail, so I never see this. So I had no idea what rankings I got in any of the others. All right, so I'm going to start doing this now. And uh, next here, I did more level ups. You'll see that also by now you've already seen all the level ups I've done in the uh, rank up mystery rank up theater. And that's the final score for that level up. And I'll show you the uh, uh, ranking in a minute. But what I was saying before uh, about um, uh, Hawkeye is his hemorrhage. You have a chance to fire it off and you can only fire it off once in a fight. So you may not even fire it off at all in the entire fight. And even if you do, you're only going to ever fire it off once. So I'd like to see them increase the chance and have it so that you can fire it off multiple times. All right. So there's where I ended rank wise uh, 51 for this level up. Now we're going to go into the second level up. I've been trying to keep these to just two level up worth of rank up and level ups. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long time. Like right now, it's already uh, over 12 minutes. I could have just done one video with just that. Okay. Um, but you see, we have a level up and a tech advancement. And let me tell you, when I saw that, I actually gave a little cheer. Why? Because it came at the perfect time. I claimed the uh, three star from the arena, claimed the four star from the arena, and now this is the perfect time to take my three star all the way up, max him out, take my four star all the way up, well, not maybe all the way up. Did I do it all the way up? I may have done it all the way up, or I may have stopped at four. Uh, we'll find out. I can't remember right now, but I think I took him all the way up. Uh, and then there's SIG levels. All of that. It's perfect. So I could just go off at this point. And that's pretty much what you see me doing here. And right now, at the time of uh, me doing these rank ups, I was still going for Nimrod as a five star in the arena. And... Spoiler, you know, a lot of people don't even read, uh, watch those videos, but I did get Nimrod as a five star, but it was after this. So at the time of this recording right now, he's rank one and I'm just waiting for the next level up and then I'll probably take him if there's a tech advancement. Perfect. If not, I'll take him up to uh, at least rank three. They have been giving me tons of tech resources. And I had used them. I used them. I took Ultron up. You know, I was trying to get rid of them. I went down to like maybe eight uh, T4 class catalyst thinking, okay, if I have the least of those, maybe they won't give me more. They did. And I had some in my overflow once again. So they're not done giving me tech. It's very slanted towards tech right now for me, but I could at least do this. Okay. And I think that was what, uh, was behind me taking uh, the four star up because normally what I don't want to do is I don't want to use my class catalyst, you know, because I need them for the five and the six stars. But for this guy here, I said, yep, I thought so. Took him all the way up because I have right now 
I have a bunch of T4 basics in my overflow, and I had at least three or four uh, T4 class catalysts for tech in my overflow. So that was a no brainer. And uh, I may, may take him up as a uh, five star just to use up those resources. Uh, but we'll see. I might just take him to four and hold him there. Because uh, one of the things that I did when I explored, uh, I explored Act 6 recently, I got two, because they keep giving me tech stuff, I got two rank up gems from three to four. All right, so I could take the five star to rank two, use the gem, I mean, to rank three, use the gem, take him to rank four, no problem. And, you know, I probably won't take him to five because of my T5 basic situation. You know, I have, I have some now, but I don't want to use them up. All right, so all I'm doing here, I've already taken them up, leveled them up, and now I'm going to use up my Sig Stones. And I also remembered, I think, while I was doing this, that I had some crystals I hadn't opened yet uh, for Sig Stones, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I may have done that a little bit later. Hard to remember because I've done so many different things between the time that I did this and now. So uh, I'm trying to remember what I did, you know, in a, in a bit ago, you know, but all of my four stars are max sig. Uh, and you can see why every time there's an advancement, boom, any new champion that I get right away goes up. Okay. Uh, and I've been hitting up a lot of tech and that's why you don't see me with a lot of the, um, plus ones. Now, just check this out. I stopped here. I didn't have any more. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't have any more of the four star um, Sig Stones. But that's because I was overflowing with them at one point. I'm still overflowing with skill. So I didn't want to open these because I know they're going to give me skill. And look at that. They gave me more skill. Okay. But I did get some tech. So I was like, okay, um, especially during a tech advancement, I was very wary of opening those during the tech advancement because I'm a little paranoid. And I just wonder if the chances of getting uh, tech sig stones are lower during tech advancement. Just me being paranoid. So I stopped, but I didn't have quite enough. I thought I did because I had already forgotten. And I was like, okay. Um, where was I at? And I forgot, still forgot. All right. So there we go. And then I opened up, I was already good at this point, but I forgot. Uh, just that quick. I forgot. Um, honestly, I didn't really even look, you know, I just saw that I wasn't there yet because I could have stopped this, uh, a long time ago and you'll see what happened because I didn't. Okay, but I did want to uh, open up a, a few and show you guys. Uh, you can see the tech here, but look at what happened to the skill. Okay, only because of the skill was I, you know, not wanting to open up a bunch of these, and then I forgot all about the skill. So we got plenty, plenty. We were not that short of the uh, tech ones, but what happened? I had forgotten about that, and I just remembered that I didn't have any tech at all. And so I was just looking at the tech, looking at the tech, and forgot uh, that I wasn't that far off. Now, I want you to look at this. This is the result of me opening up as many as I did. Look at the skill. And unless I get a skill four-star champion, I'm going to end up selling all of those. And I hate doing that, but... All my skill champions are max sig. All right. So look at that tech advancement score there. Now the level up is not where I want it to be just yet. All right. So we got a little bit more work to do. All right. So I'm like, all right, who do I have that I can take up? 
And keep in mind, I don't want to use my uh, T5 basics just for this because the tech advancement, honestly, right now at this point, we're good. You know, we, we're, we're going to get the top 10%. Uh, you don't really get anything as far as I know uh, for going really, really high up like I, I did uh, maybe for like the first rank or so. I, I need to look and see. All right. But uh, here I was actually kind of looking uh, to see who I might use that three to four because see, I have two of them. And I'm like, who do I want to take up? I was looking through and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. So you, you're watching the agony of decision here. Agony of indecision. So I'm looking at that Dark Hawk and I'm like, Dark Hawk, he's the man. And he'll do the best that he can. And I'm like, okay. Because I remember Dark Hawk from back in the day. I still have the number one through, I forget how many of the Dark Hawk series, comic book. I showed it on stream uh, one of these days, uh, in one of my past streams. Uh, so I have a heart for Dark Hawk, okay, from back, back in the day. Now, uh, you saw me looking at Iron Man, and now I'm looking at Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster would also be a good option. Hulkbuster is, um, he's been reworked. So he's, he's a good one. And so I'm like, eh. I could do Dark Hawk. I could do Hulkbuster. You know, here we go. Doc Ock, who I really need to practice more with because he's also really good. Okay. He is a good one. And what I'm trying to do here, by the way, I'm trying to look at five stars that I have that I don't have as six stars, at least right just yet. So in the end, we chose Dark Hawk. Now, Darkhawk needs high sig. He also needs to be paired with Night Thrasher, and then he's actually pretty good. But for those reasons, most people aren't really trying to use him. But I'll tell you, he was one of the best options against that Omega Red in map seven, because once you get to his uh, special three, and I have videos on Darkhawk, but once you get to a special three, you put this long heel block on them. I took him into Realm of Legends against uh, Wolverine. And he was able to take that Wolverine out pretty easily. You know, just heel blocked him and then worked him over. And he's, he's, I, I don't say he's underrated because he does need that synergy. He does need a high sig before... Uh, he would be a really good champion uh, to take with you, in my opinion. Okay, so that was behind the Dark Hawk rank up. Will we take him to rank five? We'll see. But that was one three to four rank up gem used. And I have not used the other one, but it'll probably go to Nimrod. That's who I saved it for. Uh, I didn't see anybody else that I was just burning to take up. Nimrod is new, uh, new and shiny, so we'll probably do that. All right, so that was the tech uh, advancement there. That's uh, the score we have. You can see the level up that we have right there. All right, so now we were done with the tech advancement. And this is a spoiler, but you should have already seen my crystal opening and saw when I pulled this guy. If you haven't, I'm sorry, it's been out now for a few days. But we got Roblin, Red Goblin, and I had a, a lot of people commenting things like, he's underrated, you know, he's a pretty good pull. I don't know anything about him. When he first came to the arena, he looked pretty cool, and I still like his looks. And I remember how powerful Green Goblin's special two is. So I was like, okay, I had a choice. I had to make a choice because I couldn't grind for both of them. There was Cosmic Ghost Rider and Red Goblin. And not much was known about either one. And I chose to grind for Red Goblin. And I passed on Cosmic Ghost Rider. And I was so sorry. I was sorry I did that. And I had to wait. And I finally pulled Cosmic Ghost Rider out of a crystal. 
he went to rank five. Red Goblin, as a five star, is still at rank three because I try to bring everybody to at least rank three uh, for arena purposes. All right, so we took uh, the six star Red Goblin on up to uh, level 25. He's going to stay at rank one for a little while. I need to learn more about him to see why people think he's underrated. And who knows? In the future, I might take him up to uh, rank two. We'll see. All right, so this tech advancement, for sure. Rank 10, got in the tank, uh, the tank, got in the top 10 for the tech advancement for this series. So that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. This is one of my most fun things to do, to rank up champions. I love to see champions get more powerful, okay? But that's gonna do it. Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.